right guys right this is a little video about um, in response to a few emails and messages I'd had on the camper van life forum um, a few people had asked me how I did my kitchen unit um, I'm hoping to do a vid when the weather gets better and I'm able to work back home and I've got a bit more space what I'm hoping to do is um, go up the van and show you in a little bit more detail but um, Basically this is just a, a little video or an introduction to a little video just to let you know what I'm gonna what I've done with my um, kitchen unit and how it works and what I've done and how I've gone about it. So um, yes. So here we go. There we go. That's uh, basically that's the um, double ring which I've um, put on the top and um, that's all the cooking I've got um, now that's supplied with a gas hose which you can see there um, which is all fed off of a gas locker which is in that cupboard there now if we go a bit closer look I'll show you what I've done all the um, all the cupboard doors are kept on with um, magnetic catches um, you'll probably see how I did the construction of the cupboard in a later video. But, um, basically, there's your gas locker. Now, I'll do my disclaimer. This is what I have done. This is not a how to do it. Um, this van is insured as a van. It is not insured as a camper. Um, I think you'll find for insurance purposes a camper you have to do your gas locker in a different way. Um, if you go on um, Rick Van Man's website, um, he's done it I think in a way that the insurance company will probably be a lot happier. Um, like I say, this van isn't insured as a camper, it's only insured as a van because most of the time it is a van only. Um, this is a temporary um, part-time camper so um, yeah anyway let's proceed I shall tell you what we've done it switch the gas off in there right. if we take the gas bottle out right. what I've basically got is I've obviously got my regulator, I've um, got a little uh, gauge there that tells me my gas pressure and how much um, how much gas I've got left in my bottle. Um, down there is my little gas fryer um, which is fed off uh, this one I believe, on the second one down here. Um, the other one, which is that one there, that goes up through through the worktop out through there and then goes into the back of the cooker now this this burner is not designed to be used indoors again this is um is the disclaimer it's not um this is what i have done and not this is not a how to video um basically i used it for convenience uh, if you can see that there's um there's a little bolt there in the middle now if I undo a wing nut underneath I can take the whole thing out so if I want to use that cooker outside then I can do um, as for the ventilation which I've had quite a few uh, questions on um, what I've done is I've put some mesh in the back now I've put this kitchen unit to the left hand side of my van which is over the rear wheel arch which is under there um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll have to. Right, let's go in and have a look. Right, well, through this mesh, you have. Now, that's my waste pipe for my sink. Um, that there, normally there's a metal grill over that. Um, I've taken the metal grill out, and basically that's just your floor vent. Now, the idea with this is obviously in this gas locker as um, 
the um, LPG in here is heavier than air so the idea is that it sinks to the floor now with the door closed the, the idea is that the gas will escape through this vent here being at a lower level and escape out through the vent now this is again not a how-to video this is just how I've done it um, I've never really had any problems with smelly gas or anything like that um, I've got I've got my ventilation up in there um, but again this isn't necessarily the way how you should do it but this is the way how I do it um, normally I think the gas lockers are supposed to be lined you're supposed to drill a hole put a pipe in and drop it down so that the gas can evacuate through the hole in the bottom of the floor but um, obviously I couldn't do that because the van's being used for other purposes and the, the unit's being taken in and out all the time so um, that's why I resorted to this method so I hope this is of use to somebody uh, what else can we show? The electric. Um, the only electric I've got, which is plugged in there, which is just a normal cigarette lighter socket. I've got several of these around the van. Um, plug that in there, that tells me I've got power. Uh, that goes to my switch there, which then goes over to a tap, which is there, um, with a little micro switch in it. So basically, when you flick, when you flick the tap, you get your water. And that's it. Now when you do a drain down, when you do a drain down when you're finished, um, what I do is I open up that tap, turn the switch off, and then all the water from the tap then drains back into the tap, into the uh, water butt. See that under there? That's the bottom of the tap with the electrics. See the wires coming off there. That pipe there goes into here, which is connected to a submersible pump. That is my water butt. I think it's a uh, 25 litres. It's just the right size for in there. What I tend to do though when I'm moving is uh, I'll take the pump out. Again, switch that switch off, flick that switch off, uh, drain the pipe work down, and then um, just put the cap on, stop it slopping about and fill in the covered up with water. So, there we go. Um, that's that one. Again, all the doors are just magnetic catches. Uh, just cut a hole, use the door. Uh, storage, again, same down there, storage, just magnetic. Um, I tried to make the multi use, so with that one, that will go on there as a tabletop, so that I can put a telly or something on there. So that, that's multi purpose. Um, and goes for that one. As you can see, you've got these um, runners here. Now that's for the table. Um, if you bear with me a minute, I'll just put the gas bottle away and then um, I'll uh, show you how the table works. So, is that I'll pick this door off of here. I'll slide it into that little channel there. He says, he says, there we are, that channel, the channel there, that slides into that, um, basically slide that along to there, uh, Grab ourselves a leg down here. Put that in there. Pop the little poppy thing up through. 
through there. Stop it moving. There we are, one table. Sorted. And you do this or you can do it in that one. So you can either sit with two people either side or you can have a little uh, worktop on the top. And when you've finished, just slide it out. What I did was put a little bolt in the bottom just so that you can uh, pinch it into there. But drop that into there. Job done. Find somewhere to store your leg. Job done. Tschüss, Anne.